Good day everyone! I am Mandy Mahina reporting about personalized learning. Personalized learning is an educational approach that aims to customize learning for each student without worrying about their weaknesses and capability to study. This learning was designed according to students' strength, weakness, or phase of understanding contrary to the traditional learning. Students with special needs get the flexibility or freedom to learn at their pace and get a learning plan based on what they know and how they learn best to be competent in up at the end of the academic year. For example, so the apps like Drag and Speak, which help in assisting dyslexic students or the students who have a reading disability. Another is real, which is used by people who can see. This system helps them to read and write. The next topic is professional development of teachers. Teachers or educators are the important people who contribute to the learning of the students. They are professionals sharing their knowledge and experience to the students. They are the one who teach and train students to become professionals. As we have a pandemic, traditional teaching in the classroom is prohibited by the Commission on Higher Education for the safety of all students. As an alternative, currently we have a module and online learning. Like students, teachers also need to adjust for a new normal. Like for, like for example, the MS Teams that we are using as LMS are a learning management system. The students inform and orient how to use the app, how to send assignments and upload assignments and files. So, teachers also have to learn and master how to use MS Teams to properly teach us. So, teachers have to train and take professional development programs to get better and enhance their lateral thinking abilities so students can experience the best learning trends. Next is the formative assessment solutions. Learnings are important that is why formative assessment solutions are adapted. Through the formative assessments, teachers can able to measure the student progress together with curriculum delivery and analyze personal and social competencies. This technique is seen as effective that is why institutions now largely choose formative assessment. That's all. Thank you. For the next topic, we'll report by the next presenter. Cost management in education. As the technology is rising in the education sector, administrations will require in-depth planning to ensure relevant investment. With a correct strategy, education industry will see a great improvement in terms of cost management. In the coming years, educational institutes are, are expected to invest more in cloud technologies to reduce operational costs. It will also improve the efficiency of operations in the education industry due to shared services. The cost of printing and papers will diminish with the rise of blockchain technology in the education sector. All the course or study materials are available online, thus creating a paperless learning environment which is more affordable while also being beneficial to environment. All the important documents, certificates, diplomas, and others will take a digital form. Sending information, processing transactions, and various other functions will become digital and simpler. This will reduce the labor cost as well, which is generally required to store manage and maintain a lot of data in institutes. While other areas will go down with respect to cost, the computing aspect will require more investment, more and more classes are now connected. Ano nga ba ang cloud computing technologies at paano ito makakatulog sa edukasyon? Cloud computing refers to a setup of computing resources that can be shared anywhere irrespective of the location of the users. Ang cloud ay metaphor ng internet, kaya pag sinabing cloud computing or internet computing, it is the delivery of computing services including servers, storage, databases, networking software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet. Kaya kung walang internet, hindi tayo makaka-access sa mga cloud services. By implementing cloud computing, it becomes possible to bring teachers and learners together on a single, unified platform. 
educational organizations such as schools, colleges, and universities need not buy, own, and maintain their own servers and data centers. Rather, they can leverage cloud computing to avail compute power, databases, storage, and other services when they need them. Additionally, they can always be sure about their resources being secure on the cloud because cloud security consists of a set of policies, controls, procedures, and technologies that work together to protect cloud-based systems, data, and infrastructure. These security measures are configured to protect cloud data, support regulatory compliance and protect customers' privacy as well as setting authentication rules for individual users and devices. These companies, among many others, are helping schools migrate to the cloud. First is Google. How it's using cloud computing. Google is well known for its G Suite productivity apps which include Gmail, Hangouts, Calendar, Google Drive, and Google Docs. The G Suite apps all live on the cloud. A special classroom version is called G Suite for Education, which includes extra features for apps like Google Docs, Sheets, Drive, Gmail, and others. With the Explore tab, for instance, students can use natural language to input formulas in sheets or get layout suggestions in slides. Another product, Google Classroom, links Google's online cloud applications like Calendar or Docs, so it's easier to complete or schedule assignments using a central hub. Next company is Microsoft. Like Google, Microsoft also has a special version of its productivity apps geared towards students and educators, Office 365 Education. Office 365 is the cloud-based subscription version of Microsoft Office, which includes apps like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Instead of downloading software to your hard drive, you set up an Office 365 account and save all of your Office documents to the cloud for easy access. Office 365 Education has apps from the standard version, plus additional classroom tools. The third company is Knowledge Matters. Knowledge Matters creates cloud-based business simulations such as the one seen in the picture. These computer simulations are meant to mimic situations students would encounter in a business environment, thereby give students the chance to practice real-world problem solving. Knowledge Matters virtual business lessons span a wide variety of industries including accounting, fashion, retail, sports, management, hospitality, and personal finance. The company's case simulations include more specific industry scenarios and are geared toward college students. Next company is Coursera. Coursera offers a variety of online courses from established universities and instructors through its cloud platform. It also offers lessons on specific career skills and grants university-recognized degrees. For example, Coursera students can take online computer science classes offered by the University of Pennsylvania to get a master's degree in computer and information technology. Next company is Blackboard. Blackboard provides cloud-based learning software for grades K-12 to as well as higher education and government. Its products include services such as Blackboard Classroom, which provides virtual classroom, video conferencing, assignment management, classroom analytics, and more. Using the company's cloud-based software, students and, edu and educators can access Blackboard's tools from any computer, smartphone, or tablet. Last company is Classflow. It is designed for connected whiteboards and displays. Classflow helps teachers create interactive lessons, quizzes, and activities and then display them or hand them out to students. Since Classflow lessons are cloud-based, they can be accessed by the teacher's connected displays or by the students' own devices, making it easy for both parties to access course material. Applications of Blockchain in Education First is, it helps in the verification of student records and accreditation. 
blockchain technology transforms record keeping of certificates and students' credentials in learning institutions. There is no need for an intermediary in verifying degrees, certificates, diplomas, and other academic papers with blockchain technology. It can also help educational institutions in accreditation. Second is, it reduces cases of fraud in education. Education is one of the most affected industries by fraud and hacking. Ideally, hackers can manipulate and delete information from education systems. They do this, especially to politicians, to award fake certificates. With blockchain technology, we can avoid all this fraud in education. Blockchain ensures a consistent and transparent ledger for all academic qualifications. Once a college records students' information on an online ledger, it's not easy to change. You will need permission from network users to manipulate the information. Additionally, universities can develop a ledger with a custom blockchain protocol. The platform is vital for issuing students' transcripts and certificates. Third is it decentralizing online learning. Learning institutions can use blockchain technology to ensure decentralized online learning. It helps students and instructors share information in real time. When blockchain technology decentralizes online learning, institutions will not di dictate the type of courses to publish and the amount to charge on every online course. Fourth is protection from copyright and digital rights violation. In the world of academics, plagiarism is a major problem learning institutions struggle to combat. When students copy digital content when coming up with a term paper and research proposal, it can cost them a lot. For instance, a university can revoke the certificates from such students because of plagiarism. With blockchain technology, content creators will curtail the dispersal of copyright educational materials on the internet. The technology will ensure all people can store academic information in a safe and secure chain with advanced encryption. This ensures the information is only accessible with permitted network users. The owners of learning materials can track, verify access, and allow usage of their digital content. Fifth is creating better learning platforms. Blockchain technology will be useful in the development of better online learning platforms. Notably, universities can develop convenient education systems and projects connecting students and teachers. Using the education concept, schools enhance access and sharing of study materials. Users buy internal tokens to ask for feedback from standby online tutors. They can also download learning materials and access other education services. The changing role of teacher. The 21st century has changed the concept of a teacher too. More than a data feeder, the teacher has become someone who nurtures the learner adequately. The teacher has become a person who guides his, her class through activities and sharing the wonder of discovery. This trend has become the crux of the student-centered approach to learning. Though involved in the activities, a teacher should keep an eye on monitoring the personal progress of individuals and helping the ones who need special attention and help. The education system of the 21st century has changed radically with the integration of technology in every sector. Now, in the 21st century, education depends on thinking skills, interpersonal skills, information media, technological skills, as well as life skills. Especially, the education of the present time emphasizes on life and career skills.